Hi, I'm Steven Schiffler, and I'm going to be talking about the communication theory known as relational dialectics. Um, we are all witness to this theory daily in our lives. We see it on TV. Um, we see it with our friends, our family, um, out in the world. It's really frequently everywhere. Um, relational dialectics is based on how we communicate with people we live with or are close to versus uh, strangers or acquaintances or people we work with. Um, sometimes we can be completely different to our coworkers and um, people we don't know as well versus our friends, people we maybe live with, our families, um, and we let those people really see our true colors. Um, so now for an example, I'm going to show you a clip from um, late 90s, early 2000s sitcom Friends. Friends is about six friends who all live in New York City. Uh, four of them live in the same apartment building right across the hall from each other. So we see a lot of relational dialectics in that show, so... Uh, Why? Why? What's up? Well, I have an audition for this play, and for some of it, I have to speak French, which, according to my resume, I'm fluent in. <laughs> Joey, you shouldn't lie on your resume. Yeah, you really shouldn't. Hey, by the way, how was that year-long dig in Cairo? <laughs> it was okay. <laughs> I did not know you spoke French. Oui, bien sûr, je parle français. Qu'est-ce que tu penses, alors? Oh! You're so sexy. <laughs> well, so will you help me? I really want to be in this play. Sure. To le plaisir et pour moi, mon ami. <laughs> Seriously, stop it. I'm going to jump on you. <laughs> All right. Well, it seems pretty simple. Your first line is, my name is Claude. So okay. just repeat after me. Je m'appelle Claude. Je te coupe plow. <laughs> Try it again. Okay. Je m'appelle Claude. Je t'appelle Blue. Huh. It's not quite what I'm saying. Really? Sounds exactly the same to me. It does? Really? Yeah. All right, let's just try it again. Okay. Really listen. Got it. Okay. Je m'appelle Claude. Je te floop flee. <laughs> Oh, the foof. Je m'appelle Claude. the cold blue. No! Okay, maybe if we just break it down. Okay, let's just, let's try it one syllable at a time. Okay, so repeat after me. Je. Je. Ma. Ma. Pelle. Pelle. Great, okay, faster. Je. Je. Ma. Ma. Pelle. Pelle. Je m'appelle. Mes poupou. <laughs> You. What are you doing? I, I have to go before I put your head through a wall. No, no. Don't go. I need you. My audition is tomorrow. Je blue blah. la So in that clip, we witnessed the relationship between Joey and Phoebe and how um, Phoebe was struggling to teach Joey French. Um, so we definitely saw relational dialectics in this scene. Um, due to their close-knit friendship, um, we saw in particular the concept known as openness and, and protection. Um, so many of us are victims and we do this to others as well. Uh, we may have a less of a, a shorter temper with people that we are friends with versus others. Uh, Phoebe gave up on Joey pretty quick once he couldn't learn. However, if it had been someone that she didn't know that um, was maybe paying her to teach them, she would have uh, put a lot more effort in, wouldn't have given up on them so soon. So that's a good example of relational dialectics, I thought. Um, and this theory is really just easily detectable anywhere in the world. Um, we all do it every day without even knowing it. So having the research and being able to see it in, in front of us is uh, pretty interesting. So thank you.